Of course, our modern news of today, Assistant Secretary General and uh, for Fisher for Biodiversity and Vice Chair and UC, Sister Josephine Keo, coming up today, and of course, the chairperson of the UC, Sister Benjamin To start off this morning's dialogue session, uh, first quick question: Has every had your coffee yet? And if he's not had your coffee. I ask this for two reasons. We are in a coffee shop and we are heading to a coffee shop and coffee. So, if you have a coffee, you'll help yourself to some tea. Again, uh, reiterate, it's a free flow. So, whenever you're thirsty, go up to the uh, coffee shop. Help yourself to some bread as well. So, uh, as far as the uh, morning event is going, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Sherwin. Sherwin. Uh, who is the planning officer from uh, the planning division of MOE, to give us a quick run through, a presentation on creating an innovative workforce through education, which is our topic for discussion today. Jerwin, please. Good morning. Uh, uh, I'll run through this quickly so that I will not follow up the dialogue session. The mission of uh, MOE is to hold the future of nation. Our vision is to include learning nation. The premise here is that we need to ensure that our students, our teachers, and our school leaders are continuously learning and hopefully impart this learning, uh, lifelong learning mentality to our students such that it brings them out of their school. The agenda here uh, of the presentation today is uh, this. Why an innovative uh, is important to us, and what uh, innovation and enterprise means to MOE, and how we are preparing our students to be innovative workers. So why is and why is innovative workforce important for Singapore? Um, we all know that currently our economy is changing rapidly, our future is changing very rapidly. 